my name is Bramtan Mojeb, I'm the head of cybersecurity for Cisco Switzerland. And today we actually discussed careers in cybersecurity and the way we actually develop talent uh, for uh, the next few years. Hi, my name is uh, Marwar De Rosa, I am CSSP certified and the CEO of Signed. Uh, tonight I presented part of the program of ICS Square and uh, what is important of having a certification in your uh, career. So with the, uh, with the expansion of the, uh, the threat landscape and the diversity and complexity of today's threats, uh, we actually have a huge shortage in terms of talent in cybersecurity. And what Cisco is doing is we're looking at how we can grow talent uh, in the before phase. So how do we grow talent uh, through education in universities and outside of the universities? How do we build talent within Cisco and, and our partners and customers? As we discussed in the presentation, in my opinion, today is more important to have a certification because based on where you get your study, if, for example, taking the uh, cybersecurity domain, you get uh, your uh, master degree or another uh, kind of uh, PhD, in, uh, depends by which is the institution who release it, and it's changed by the institution, by the country or by the continent. Uh, when you are, for example, in Switzerland, uh, the, your preparation could be not necessarily matched one of the other. I strongly suggest you to get a certification. In this way, you will have a third party that will recognize you a title that is equivalent to any other part of the planet where you can get. This will, will allow you to get a, an overall knowledge, a general knowledge that is horizontal. And after, when you will, be, when you will decide really in which domain invest, you can take one more specific certification and grow more vertical. Um, so yeah, my, my perspective around uh, around the talent shortage right now in Switzerland is that we're actually facing in Switzerland, but also in the world, a huge talent shortage that will reach about 2 million resources worldwide probably. And what we're looking at today is a huge need in terms of analysts uh, in, in, in cybersecurity that is required. So we're not looking just at people who understand infrastructure, but also who understand applications and can make sense of the data. So today we are compensated, compensating a few of those uh, challenges through machine learning through intelligent, uh, artificial intelligence, uh, but in this case we're trying to build talent in, uh, in actually forensics uh, for the years to come.